early. Uh, uh, hold on just a sec. Uh, just uh, give me a minute. Marsha. Marsha. Uh, it, it's, it's so wonderful to meet you. My, you look nice. Very dapper. Oh, why, um, why thank you for noticing. <laughs> okay, so, uh, uh, Carol didn't tell me much about you, except for the fact that you're new in town. Oh, uh, yes, just moved here, as a matter of fact. From London? Why, yes. Is that obvious? <laughs> Couldn't help but notice your accent. Oh, and Carol said you gave up your seat on the bus for her, which isn't a very American thing to do. Uh, yes, well, I mean, you know, she was wheezing, you see. Yeah, and, uh, asthma, it sucks. <laughs> 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 so, um, may I? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, Sorry, please. You're so kind. I do come in. Rough trip. <laughs> Oh God! I don't know. It's really not that big of a deal, honestly. It's a bit of a bit of a bit of a tumble. Your whoopsie daisy. If I could just get an uppy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I should have fixed that. Should we call it back in the old country. Uh, here, you dropped your. Oh, my walking stick. Huh? Oh, Carol didn't tell you. Tell me what? That I'm. Oh. I'm blind. I, I see. You seem very I mean... uncomfortable. <laughs> I understand. And I should go. No, no. I, I'm, I'm just surprised. That's all. Here, why don't you have a seat? Take my hand. I'll lead you oh, to the couch. Quite unnecessary. Been doing this for a bit of a while now. Got plenty of experience. Know exactly my way around things. Thank you very much. I guess I didn't realize. I mean, oh. I noticed you were wearing sunglasses. I just thought, uh, how Tom Cruise of you. Uh, actually quite embarrassed. I thought Carol had informed you. Now you're stuck on with the likes of Helen Keller all night. <laughs> Except I'm real. <laughs> Someday, yeah. Uh, to be honest, I haven't been on very many dates, so relax. I don't have much to compare you to. Uh, well, I don't believe that. An attractive lass like well, uh, Carol said that you were an attractive lass, and I'm kind of inclined to take her at her yeah. word on these things. It's not that I haven't had the opportunity. It's just difficult for me to trust people, especially men. To be perfectly honest, I, I was going to cancel on you tonight, but Carol said I should get out more. Throw caution to the wind, Marcia. So I said to myself, the biggest adventure you can take is to live the life of your dreams. Uh, so true. Is that Thoreau? No, Oprah. <laughs> oh. Besides, uh, Carol said that you were very sweet, so I decided, why not? Only live once. Oh. Go ahead, Marsha, fly blind for once in your life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, no, no, but don't be. No. That has always been one of my mottos as well. <laughs> um, that and you always Look both ways. <laughs> Before crossing. <laughs> ha! <laughs> Got you. And who said the British don't have a sense of humour? <laughs> uh, so, my dear, uh, what, did, what did you have in plan for this evening? Well, since you're new in town, I thought maybe we'd go and see the sights. <laughs> <laughs> I did it again. That was horrible. Uh, no. No, it was not. It was. I'm an idiot. Rubbish. <laughs> I actually think you're rather smashing. <laughs> you know, I, I quite fancy you, Marsha. Why, thank you. I quite fancy you too, Ted. <laughs> well, since that plane's out the window, what would you like to do? 
Oh, well, I don't mind, you know, staying in for the evening. And, you know, the flat, having a bit of a chat. How, how does that sound? Awesome. I mean, I'd like that. Uh, well, brilliant. Splendid. <laughs> so, uh, what do you do for a living, Ted? Oh, um, I, I teach Braille to little children. Oh, you kind soul. Well, you see, I myself was but a child when I lost my sight. That's horrible. How did it happen? <laughs> it, it, it's all right, Ted. You can tell me. Well, um, when I was all of nine, playing rugby with some mates, when I, when I noticed old Miss Whitman crossing the street with an armload of groceries. Then what happened? Well, um, I, I, I raced up to help her. I was a member of the BBS, the British Boy Scouts, you see. <laughs> then what happened? Well, um, just as Miss Whitman was crossing the street, a black mini came racing down the pavement, so I dove to intercept her, groceries flying everywhere, and then... And then? <laughs> the car hit me. So that's how you lost your sight? Yes. <laughs> How? Oh, you know, little shards of glass from the windshield that lodged in my eyeballs. How and dreadful. You poor, poor thing. Traumatized. And you were just performing a random act of kindness, helping a defenseless old woman. Life can be so cruel. <laughs> What makes it <clears throat> really difficult is knowing that I will never again experience the vision of a beautiful woman. A woman uh, quite like yourself, Marshall. I don't mean to be so forward. I, I just thought that... You are the most charming man I've ever met. And you are the most charming I've ever met. A woman, not man. Oh, Ted. <laughs> oh, Marsha. I've never this way before. Nor have I. This is so unlike me, but the way you opened up to me. And you to me. You are the man I've been looking for. And you're great. <laughs> I'll be right back. Going to slip into something a little more comfortable? Uh, no, I uh, have to go to the loo. Don't you go anywhere. I'll be right out, Ted. I'm back. So I see. Here! So I hear. With my ears. You know, this may sound horrible, but I was secretly thrilled when I found out that you were blind. I mean, considering my job and all. Oh, um, what is it that you do? Carol didn't tell you? I'm a graduate student in med school. Oh, brilliant. What is it that you're studying? Ophthalmology. <laughs> Isn't that a crazy coincidence? My specializing in the treatment of eyes? Hmm. In fact, I was hoping to show you some of the new products we've been researching here in the US. We've been experimenting with certain formulas that may, in fact, help blind people regain their sight. Oh, you don't say. We've only been able to experiment on lab rats. We need to test it on a human specimen before it can be FDA approved. And here you are. Darling! I don't think that this is such a very good idea. You should, um, you should test this on somebody else. Not me, an American. I, I don't even have a visa. I'm completely illegal, actually. Ted. You are so noble, unselfish. <sighs> Wanting to give someone else the chance to undergo this breakthrough treatment, but you <clears throat> deserve this. <laughs> Listening to my problems, helping old Miss Whitman out that fateful day. Uh, Marsha, this is very kind, but don't you think we're moving a bit fast? Now, just <laughs> relax and open your eyes <clears throat> wide. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Uh, what is that? I mean, I have the strangest sensation 
that you're holding something over me right now. Wow. Just a mixture of potassium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. What? Get that thing away from me! Hush. It's only caused impotency and penile dysfunction in 70% of the specimens tested. A penile dysfunction? Woman, are you off your trolley? I beg you, please reconsider. Hush. I'm a professional, Ted. I'm only trying to help you. every Harry Potter movie ever made. Get out. Twice. Out. But you're so beautiful when you're angry. Uh, get out before I really blind you. 